Welcome back. We'll get right to it. It's time for a Northwoods clash. The Wausau East Lumberjacks traveling north for their first game in three years, and it's like their defense never left. But the Thunderbirds brought the thunder here in the red zone. Now quarterback Court Meyer finding McCoy Holmquist for the touchdown strike. They get first blood, but the Lumberjacks, they kept chopping away. Quarterback Pacey Weber here, he rolls out and finds Jesse Nagazek. That's a nice circus catch. Put him on the Sports Center top 10. All for Weber, he showed that he can do it with his legs too. Breaks off a long touchdown run to even the game at seven apiece. But the Lumberjacks, they come away with the big win. We stay in the north for a rivalry. Rhinelander at Tomahawk. Excuse me, we're getting some technical difficulties through here. Here we go, Rhinelander at Tomahawk, no more waiting. The Hatchets, they get out ahead in this one early, but the Hodags, they come roaring back. Our cameraman even getting faked out here. What the heck? No, that's James Heck. He finds the end zone for six, and that cuts it to a one-score game. But the Hatchets needing defense the most, fourth and short denied. But the myth of the Hodag is tough to keep down. That diving catch sets up, sets up another touchdown by Heck. And the Hodags complete a huge comeback with the walk-off field goal, 22-21, to start the season 1-0. Clintonville at Amherst, and this one starts off hot. Senior QB Michael Benjamin runs in a TD. Later in the first now, we'll let it catch up. Clintonville answers with the 55-yard TD from senior quarterback Caden Rancho. He puts on a little moves, the senior wideout Jack Yeager, and he ties it up at six apiece. Now after that, the running back Weston Allen responds, breaking a few ankles after the tackle before he finally gets knocked down there at the 48-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 looking to score, and it sets up the QB draw from Benjamin, who powers his way in as the Falcons get the win and start off their season with a huge W, 65-19. to Now we're off to Anago at Whitburn. Senior quarterback Nathan Wapakinag, wow, he's got a name full there, throws a 30-yard dime to the wideout Marshall Fraza, and he takes it to the crib. They get up 34-0. Now Anago trying to fight back, but the senior Keegan Schmidt, along with Connor Groshek, have all their plans as they get the big sack on third and 10. Now the quarterback looking to find Keegan Bento, who shifts his way in there for seven. And after that, the Chargers decided to go for two to avenge the missed PAT from earlier. And the two-point jump ball is converted by Casey Kielman. And that makes it 42-0 at half. And they end up in a route, 56-7. We need another quick timeout. But when we come back, a Division I throwdown at Gerke Field. Plus, on our way, here's a look at some area scores from around the state.